Hello, I'm Gwendolyn DeFlippi, the Assistant Deputy Chief of Staff for Manpower, Personnel and Services at Headquarters Air Force A1. In the past, the Department of the Air Force focused civilian development expectations primarily on those aspiring to become enterprise leaders who were pursuing senior executive service roles. However, the DAF recently recognized that there are many civilians who may not aspire to be enterprise-wide leaders, but are doing exceptional work and aspire to be the best functional expert or leader they can be. This awareness of different civilian goals, coupled with the realization that DAF values and needs both functional experts and leaders and enterprise leaders, led to the development of a new framework for developing civilians, referred to as the Civilians We Need Career Model. This model, described in Department of the Air Force Manual 36-142, released in 2022. Ms. Glenda Shiner, the Director of Civilian Force Management at Headquarters Air Force A1, will provide an overview of the model and accompanying civilian career roadmaps. Glenda? Thanks for the introduction, Ms. Filippi. Hello, let's begin by taking a look at the Air Force Civilian Talent Management Model as shown here. This model illustrates that DAF civilians join the workforce from a variety of different sources and are assessed into the civilian workforce at differing levels. Some enter as interns directly from high school or a college or university, while others may enter the civilian workforce following military service. Civilians may also be recruited from other DOD agencies, other government agencies, or from the private sector. Civilians may be hired into the workforce for a general schedule professional white collar position, a federal wage grade blue collar position, or a position with an alternate pay system such as acquisition demo or the cyber workforce. Many civilians come into the workforce needing to develop their initial expertise, technical skills and competencies. The DAF needs many of its civilians to become functional experts with a deep technical knowledge in their chosen field. DAF also needs a subset of this group who aspire to be DAF enterprise-wide leaders and ultimately rise to the senior level civilian positions such as those within the senior executive service. In 2020, the Department of the Air Force conducted a racial disparity review to determine if there were any racial, ethnic, or gender barriers to advancement. The review found some disparities in our senior civilian positions defined as GS-13 through the SES level. The RDR, as well as a 2020 RAN study, identified that the expectations concerning geographic mobility and in-resident professional military education were perceived to be barriers to advancement for certain races, ethnicities, and females. As we explored ways to address the identified disparities, we evaluated the Air Force Civilian Career Pyramid to identify potential barriers. We recognize that while geographic mobility and PME are important for those aspiring to be enterprise leaders, these were not necessarily required for those who aspire to be functional experts or leaders in a given location. As a result of the RDR, the DAF developed a new Civilians We Need career model. This model provides dual track development options and was created to enhance diversity and retention and emphasize the importance of all civilians, both those who will be enterprise leaders and those who will serve as functional experts or leaders. The enterprise track, the traditional DAF civilian career development model, provides a broad base of development for those who aspire to enterprise leadership positions up to the senior executive service level. The enterprise track emphasizes depth and breadth of experience both within and outside of one's functional area to include cross-functional and joint assignments. By contrast, the new Functional Expert Leader Track provides development for those who aspire to be steeped in their functional expertise and who will provide workforce continuity. This tract emphasizes technical expertise, institutional memory, and functional depth and breadth within one's technical field. A DAF-level career roadmap was developed for both civilian career tracks. 
These roadmaps represent desired attributes and should serve as guides to career decision making based on an employee's career aspirations as either an enterprise leader or a functional expert or leader. Career aspirations and personal circumstances may change over time. These two roadmaps were developed to also allow an individual to switch between paths at any given point in time. Both roadmaps are based on the DAF foundational competencies of developing self, developing ideas, developing others, and developing organizations. Each roadmap highlights the appropriate developmental options dependent upon one's respective grade level, with proficiency at three differing levels, including tactical or basic, operational or intermediate, and strategic or advanced slash expert. Each roadmap also identifies the various types of experiences, education and training, and leadership development that are appropriate and encouraged at any given career point. The experience section indicates the types of positions at various organizational levels to seek in order to build a solid foundation for potential career growth. The education and training section reflects formal education, professional military education, certifications, and leadership training opportunities to seek in order to enhance career readiness. The leadership section identifies leadership development opportunities to pursue to build leadership skills that will increase readiness for assuming positions of higher levels of responsibility. Now let's take a closer look at the Enterprise Leaders Roadmap as depicted in this image. This roadmap is designed to build DAF Enterprise Leaders and is for civilians seeking career progression into leadership roles up to and including the Senior Executive Service. For the purpose of this briefing, you'll see text in red print that highlights the differences in the two roadmaps for ease of review. In the experience section, the roadmap emphasizes establishing a strong technical foundation in the early stages of your career, which is then complemented by gaining breadth later in your career through geographic and organizational mobility. The broader perspective gained through this experience and development supports the overall DAF enterprise rather than just a single functional area. It emphasizes both depth and breadth of experience within and beyond your primary functional area. It also emphasizes experience at various organizational levels to include installation or delta, MAGCOM or FIELDCOM, and HAP or SAF. It encourages obtaining additional breadth through cross-functional or joint assignments. In the education and training section, each row represents a different area of focus, such as formal education, functional training, leadership training, certifications, and developmental education. You should simultaneously be working on each of these various focus areas. Note that the Enterprise Roadmap includes an emphasis on formal education up to the master's level in either one's primary functional discipline or in leadership or management. It also includes achieving rank level appropriate professional military education either in residence or by distance learning. The third category on the roadmap is leadership development and again there are several separate rows to highlight different components of leadership development. Now we'll shift focus to the second civilian career track. This roadmap is designed to build functional experts and leaders. It is for civilians who aspire to become deep technical experts within their chosen field and who aspire into functional specific leadership roles up to and possibly including senior leader, scientific, or professional leader positions. In the experience section, you'll see that there's an emphasis here on getting strong depth in technical expertise. This roadmap emphasizes gaining some breadth as well, but that breadth is generally within the primary functional discipline for which you're seeking to become an expert. You do not see an expectation for broad geographic mobility as you do on the Enterprise Leader Roadmap. 
In education and training, you'll note that for formal education, there is an emphasis on obtaining a master's or doctoral degree in your functional area of expertise. These are desired attributes for functional experts who will possess deep technical knowledge in their field. Professional military education is considered optional on this track and if completed would likely be done via distance learning. This roadmap also has a leadership development section as the DAF needs strong leaders on both the functional expert leader track as well as the enterprise leader track. The experiences, education and training, and leadership development emphasis in this career track supports positions serving as a functional expert or functional leader rather than an enterprise-wide leader. In addition to the DAF level career roadmaps, career fields will tailor a career field specific version of the roadmaps that will be made available on my vector. The Civilian Force Development Panel approved the new Civilians We Need career model because they recognize that all DAF civilians and their contributions are needed and valued, whether they are mobile and aspire to be enterprise leaders or whether they want to be the best functional expert they can be in their given locale. This model and its accompanying career roadmaps is codified in the DAF Man 36-142. DAF civilians should assess their career goals and decide if they wish to pursue the enterprise or the functional expert or leader track. The new Civilians We Need model recognizes that the career development needs and desires of aspiring enterprise leaders and functional experts will differ. The model provides you, as a DAF civilian, the option to choose the path that best aligns to your career goals and provides a developmental framework to enable you to advance and succeed in alignment with your individual career aspirations. For more information on the Civilians We Need model or the DAF Civilian Career Roadmaps, please send your inquiries to the email shown on the screen. Please also reach out to your supervisor and respective career field manager for additional details. We wish you all the best on your civilian career within the Department of the Air Force.